So you're probably wondering what exactly can a man tell you a woman about losing weight during menopause? And what I can tell you is that I have absolutely zero firsthand experience on losing weight during menopause. Um, there is something called male menopause, and I don't know if that's just something that men above a certain age have coined as um, a new thing. I don't even really know if it's actually a thing, but uh, what I do know is I have zero firsthand experience, but I do have a lot of clients, a lot of women clients that have been asking me what can they do to lose weight faster during menopause. So. I thought it was a really good question and if you're watching this video right now then you're obviously curious about what you can do. Is there a way that you can speed up your weight loss faster during menopause? And there's actually four things that I'm going to talk about in today's video of how you can speed up your weight loss during menopause. So if you want to know what those four things are that can help you speed up your weight loss during menopause, then stick around. Hey guys, so my name is Mr. Fitness, the body transformation specialist, and on my channel, I talk a lot about weight loss. And for the last 30 plus years, I've been helping people just like the ones you see right here get into amazing shape with my weight loss coaching program. And the program is simple, and if you're serious about losing weight, then you should definitely consider joining. And you can get started for free. Here's what the program is. It's workouts, it's diet, it's coaching, but most importantly, it's what you really want, which is results. If you're watching this video on YouTube, click the first link below in the description, or if you're watching this video on Facebook or Instagram, go ahead and DM me or comment below and I'll send you the link where you can get started for free. Now with that being said, let's get into the video. So before we get into the four things that you can do to lose weight faster during menopause, I think it's important to first go over the main reasons why women have a hard time losing weight during menopause. And there's four main reasons. So uh, let's talk about those four main reasons next. So one of the main reasons why a lot of women have a hard time losing weight during menopause is a fluctuation in their hormones. And believe it or not, either a spike or an elevation in estrogen or a decrease in estrogen can either make it hard for you to lose weight or even cause you to gain weight. So another one of the main reasons why women tend to gain weight during menopause and have a hard time losing weight is because of a loss of muscle mass. Now, women generally tend to have a disadvantage compared to men with muscle because men generally just naturally have more muscle mass because of the hormone testosterone. But women generally tend to, as they get older because of a lack of physical activity and because of a loss of estrogen, generally tend to have a hard time losing weight or they even gain weight. So the third reason why a lot of women tend to have a hard time losing weight or gaining weight during menopause is because of a lack of sleep or poor quality sleep. And believe it or not, once women hit menopause, they oftentimes experience having a hard time falling asleep or getting poor quality sleep. And science has proven that a lack of sleep or poor quality sleep tends to lead to weight gain. And the fourth reason why a lot of women tend to have a hard time losing weight during menopause and some even gain weight is because a decrease in insulin sensitivity. Now, insulin is considered the body's main fat storage hormone. And what happens with a lot of women as they get older, they decrease the amount of insulin sensitivity they have, which means that the body ends up having to produce more insulin to get the same effect, therefore leading to weight gain. So now that we know the four main reasons why a lot of women tend to have a hard time losing weight during menopause or even gain weight, now let's talk about the four things that you can do about it. So the first thing you can do during menopause to help you lose weight faster is get more sleep. Now I know getting more sleep for a lot of people in this busy world that we live is easier said than done, but if you want to get back on the fast track to losing weight during menopause, this one is an absolute necessity. Now one of the main reasons why sleep is so important to the weight loss equation, especially during menopause, is because when you lack sleep, your body produces more of a hormone called ghrelin, and ghrelin is considered your body's hunger hormone, and when you're not sleeping, your body producing more ghrelin is going to cause you to want to eat more and not only that, but want to eat more of the wrong foods. That's probably why you've noticed in the past when you have missed a night of good sleep, you're probably hungrier the next day. Now the second hormone your body produces is called leptin and leptin is considered your body's fullness or satiety hormone and your body produces less leptin when you're lacking sleep. So ghrelin being up, making you hungrier and hungrier for the wrong foods 
and your body producing less leptin, you're more likely to overeat and overeat the wrong foods when you're lacking sleep. So the second thing you can do during menopause to help you lose weight faster is make sure that you stand more than you sit. So believe it or not, we actually burn more calories when we stand than when we sit. For instance, if you do 20 minutes on a treadmill and you do 20 minutes on a bike, you're probably most likely going to burn more calories in that 20 minutes on the treadmill than on the bike. So that's the main reason why you want to stand more than you sit because you're simply going to burn more calories. But believe it or not, this also standing more than sitting can help you to prevent a lot of other health problems. Matter of fact, in a 2018 study in the Journal of Obesity, scientists actually found that prolonged sitting was connected to an increase in abdominal fat. And not only that, but prolonged sitting was actually connected to the increase or the accumulation of fat around your organs like your liver. And this fat is the dangerous fat because it actually is connected to diseases like heart disease and diabetes. So the third thing on my list of things that you can do to lose weight faster during menopause is cut back on your carbs. So you probably already knew that cutting back on your carbs was going to be one of the things that was on this list. And I tried to avoid putting it on this list because everybody knows you need to cut back on your carbs, but for some reason, people don't do it. And I understand that cutting back on carbs is not easy to do, but remember that insulin resistance is one of the main reasons why women, as they get a little older, have a hard time losing weight and actually gain weight. And insulin is the hormone that's meant to help regulate sugar and carbohydrates. So as you get older, you're already going to have a harder time processing those carbs because of insulin resistance. So cutting back on those carbs is extremely important if you want to speed up your weight loss during menopause. And the fourth thing on my list of things you can do to lose weight faster during menopause is find better ways to deal with your stress. I remember back in the early 2000s when I accepted my first management job in a gym and I went from working with clients all day long to sitting behind a desk. And what came along with that management position was not only sitting behind a desk, but a lot of stress. And I quickly realized how the stress and the weight gain thing are connected. Because I went at the beginning, I went from an 8% body fat at the beginning of accepting that job to a plus 22% body fat in as little as six months. See, when you're stressed, your body produces a hormone known as cortisol, and cortisol is our stress hormone. And when cortisol levels are high, that stimulates your liver to produce more blood sugar. And what that does is that is there to help break down the fats and the carbs into a usable source of energy, which is normally a good thing. But what happens is when your insulin levels are chronically high, again, this leads to insulin resistance, which then leads to weight gain. So I got a question for you. Which of the things on today's list are you going to start doing first to get back on track with your weight loss during menopause? Comment below and let me know. And if you made it this far in the video, then that tells me that you're serious about losing weight. And if so, you should definitely consider joining my weight loss coaching program and getting results just like the people you see right here. Again, the program is simple. It's workouts, it's diet, it's coaching, but most importantly, it's what you want, which is results. And you can get started for free. If you're watching this video on YouTube, click the first link below in the description. Or if you're watching this video on Facebook or Instagram, DM me or comment below this video and I'll send you the link. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you got something out of it and I look forward to talking to you and working with you soon.